Hey guys, Ben Funnerberg. If you're one of those guys that's got Mega Live, Live Scope, or Active Target, one of those forward scanners, you need to watch this if you want to catch more fish. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's let's talk about the issue with the forward scanners. And I learned this when I first got my forward scanner four years ago. Um, it's hard to stay on target with these high-end trolling motors out there when you got anchor lock or spot lock. As soon as you put them in spot lock or anchor lock, and you got it on the shaft of that uh, trolling motor, you lose your target. If you got that transducer that four transducer if it's on that bass as soon as you put it in anchor lock or spot lock you know you lose that fish and it's hard to stay on them so i ended up making a uh, a pole like most of us do uh especially the crappy fishermen i had a I had a pole made up i had this plate here made from a guy out in texas that this here fits exactly right onto the uh my trolling motor i used the existing bolts on the, the head of that force trolling motor and it's just tied right in but down the pole part i had to make and you know you got to turn it back and forth with your hand uh to put it on the fish and i got tired of doing that i got tired of putting that thing uh down um it was already built onto the trolling motor which was really convenient and uh but I got tired of moving that pole back and forth. I eventually done some research, found out there's some motorized poles out there. So I ended up, to show you what I got, I ended up getting a, what they call a uh, right height. And uh, this has been good for me. I've had it for about three years now. Um, I control it. It's a wired uh, foot pedal, right? Wired foot pedal right here to move it back and forth. And um, uh, it's built to the uh, trolling motor head up here. Um, it's bolted on, as most all of them, you're going to find out, these motorized poles are. Um, and I've had great success with my anchor lock in, and then I can just move that pedal to, in the direction where the fish is at and stay right on them. See, so I can... I can go back to the left on it, and it'll go 360. And I can go back the other way. You can stay on the fish with a motorized pole. This, I took the old, the arrow that was on there, a little bit small, and I made me one up and painted it orange. So I always position my bow into the wind so my boat won't be moving that much. Cause when you're up here fishing, and you anchor a lot and this boat gets sideways and then you your whole body's turning sideways to fish at an angle sometimes that boat will turn all the way around in that wind and then you you lose your uh ability to stay on target with that fish even though even if you got the motorized pole if you understand what i'm saying so i try to stay directly in the wind i put me a little bit of a, a ribbon up here to find out, you know, when I'm out there fishing, I want to know which way that wind's blowing. And I try to stay facing that wind every time when, uh, if I got known structure that I'm on a fish and I, I got it all marked on my graph, I line this boat up with that structure. And if I got that ribbon out and it's blowing and I got, I'm lined up correctly, Man, I don't move. I stay on that target as long as I want to be. All right, let's take a look at some of these motorized poles that's out there. Uh, there's different uh, manufacturers out there. Uh, and there's pros and cons for each one of the motorized poles that's being made. I got the right height. I've had it for three years. I've had zero issues out of it. But uh, you got uh, right height. You have a uh, target lock and you got live foot, uh, fort sight, fort and all scan, and cornfield crappy, uh, they make a uh, motorized pole. So, so guys, I hope this helps you a lot uh, to make a decision on what you want 
do your research, uh, get that motorized pole, and get out there and catch you a bunch of fish. Until the next episode, God bless all of you, and have a great week.